Join us as we explore Pakistan, a country with a complex history that has profoundly shaped its relationship with its neighbor, India. Discover the rich cultural heritage, breathtaking geography, and historical events that continue to influence Pakistan's present and future. Pakistan is located in South Asia and borders Iran, Afghanistan, China, India, and the Arabian Sea. The geography is diverse, ranging from plains to deserts to mountains. It covers over 340,000 square miles and is the 36th largest country in the world. Pakistan is divided into three major geographic regions, the Northern Highlands, the Indus River Plain, and the Balochistan Plateau. The Northern Highlands contain the Karakoram, Hindu Kush, and Himalayan mountain ranges. Some of the world's highest peaks are located here, including K2, the second highest mountain in the world. The Indus River Plain runs through the center of Pakistan. This fertile region is home to most of the country's population. The Balochistan Plateau covers the southwest part of Pakistan and contains barren terrain. The capital, Islamabad, is located in the foothills of the Northern Highlands. Pakistan's most significant river is the Indus River system, which originates in Tibet and runs the length of the country, emptying into the Arabian Sea near Karachi. There are few natural lakes in Pakistan other than Manchar Lake, the largest lake in the country. However, several large dams have created artificial lakes. Pakistan is home to over 200 million people from diverse ethnic, religious and linguistic backgrounds. The majority of Pakistanis belong to one of four main ethnic groups. Punjabis live mainly in Punjab province and comprise about half the population. Sindhis inhabit Sindh province in the southeast. Pashtuns live primarily along the Afghan border. Balochis reside in Balochistan province in the southwest. There are also smaller minority groups. Islam is the religion of the vast majority of Pakistanis, with most adhering to the Sunni branch. About 15 to 20 percent of Muslims are Shia. Minorities include Christians, Hindus and others. Religion shapes identity and influences culture in Pakistan. Though English is used officially, Pakistan's national language is Urdu. Punjabi is the provincial language of Punjab, Pashto is spoken in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and Sindhi is used in Sindh. Balochi, Hindko, and Saraiki are also spoken regionally. Pakistani cuisine is known for its rich flavors and aromatic dishes. Pakistani food incorporates elements of Middle Eastern, Central Asian, and Indian cuisines, while also retaining its own unique identity. These are some iconic dishes you can taste in the country. Chapli kebabs consist of minced beef or lamb, mixed with onions, tomatoes, eggs and spices. This patties are then fried until crispy. Chapli kebabs are a popular appetizer or main dish, originating from Pashtun regions along the Afghanistan border. Their juicy texture and zesty flavor make them a favorite Pakistani meal a savory, fried pastry, samosas make an iconic Pakistani snack. A samosa shell is made of thin, crispy dough stuffed with a spiced potato or meat filling. Common fillings are lentils, ground beef, chicken or vegetables. Spices like cumin, coriander, chili and garlic add a kick. Samosas are served hot with chutney dipping sauces. Chicken karahi is a rich Pakistani curry made by simmering chicken in a tomato-based sauce with onions, garlic, ginger and aromatic spices. Sometimes cooked in a wok-like pan called a karahi, this dish can also include chilies, cilantro and garam masala. Chicken karahi has a thick aromatic gravy that is paired with nayan bread or rice. A popular breakfast dish, parathazar, flatbreads made by layering and cooking flaky dough with ghee or oil. Parathas are enjoyed plain, 
stuffed with a variety of fillings, or served alongside spicy curries and chutneys. From flavorful kebabs to fragrant curries, Pakistani cuisine is diverse and appetizing. These iconic dishes offer just a taste of the country's culinary treasures. The land that is today Pakistan has been home to ancient civilizations, foreign empires and modern nations throughout the centuries. The Indus Valley Civilization emerged around 3300 BCE with large advanced cities like Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa. For millennia, the region was a crossroads of cultures and empires. Persian, Greek, Mongol and Afghan armies swept across these plains. In 712 CE, the Umayyad Empire brought Islam to the region. Muslim dynasties like the Ghaznavids and the Delhi Sultanate rose to power. By the 16th century, the region was the heartland of the Mughal Empire. The Mughals built grand monuments including the Taj Mahal and Lahore Fort, blending Islamic, Persian and Indian influences. As Mughal power declined, the British East India Company expanded its presence in the 1700s. By the mid-19th century, Britain seized control of the entire subcontinent. Under the jewel in the crown of the British Empire, the region provided resources to fuel the English industry. In the early 1900s, the call for Indian independence grew louder. The Britain-favoured Indian National Congress, largely Hindu, began demanding self-rule. Muslims hesitated to join, cautious of becoming a minority under Hindu rule. In 1940, in Lahore, the Muslim League under Muhammad Ali Jinnah proposed a separate Muslim homeland. When Britain withdrew in 1947, it hastily partitioned British India into Hindu-majority India and Muslim-majority Pakistan. Millions were uprooted in the chaotic division. As Hindus and Sikhs fled westward and Muslims eastward, violence erupted claiming over a million lives. Born amidst this bloodshed, Pakistan emerged as a haven for South Asian Muslims. But it faced daunting challenges, resettling millions of refugees, establishing a government and tensions with India over disputed Kashmir. In 1971, East Pakistan broke away to form Bangladesh after a devastating war with West Pakistan. Pakistan today remains committed to its Islamic ideals, though its history has swung between civilian democracy and military rule. With a rising population and developing economy, Pakistan searches for stability while embracing its multifaceted national identity. Pakistan's economy has been a story of ups and downs since independence in 1947. In its early years, it relied heavily on the agricultural sector. Vast irrigation projects allowed farming to thrive in the Indus River Plains, producing crops like cotton, wheat and rice for export. In the 1960s, Pakistan embarked on a program of nationalization and socialist-inspired reforms. But growth remained sluggish and dependent on aid and remittances. In the 1990s, Pakistan shifted toward privatization and free market policies. The economy began to expand more rapidly, fueled by sectors like textiles, telecom and the service industry a growing middle class emerged in the cities. The 21st century brought new economic challenges. Political instability, corruption and energy shortages hampered industry and foreign investment. Security threats also took a toll. However, remittances from overseas Pakistanis and increased trade with China boosted the economy. Major infrastructure projects were initiated like the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. Today, Pakistan's GDP stands as the 24th largest in the world at $348 billion. Pakistan's politics have been defined by its rivalry with India since the 1947 partition divided the former British colony. The hastily drawn border sparked immediate disputes over the Muslim-majority region of Kashmir, 
This led to decades of wars and tensions between the two newly independent nations. Partition left deep scars and suspicions between India and Pakistan. As millions were uprooted in the creation of the Muslim homeland, horrific violence between different groups broke out. Border skirmishes began just months after the partition. The first war over Kashmir erupted in 1947. Two more wars followed in 1965 and 1971, deepening the divisions. Peace initiatives made fitful progress, but repeatedly collapsed due to terror attacks and distrust on both sides. Kashmir remains a flashpoint to this day, while India pursued a secular democracy. Pakistan swung between civilian and military rule, seeking to define its Islamic identity. The adversarial relationship with India dominated foreign policy. Nuclear tests in 1998 by both countries heightened fears of conflict. Today, although animosity remains, there are hopes for diplomacy and economic cooperation between the bitter rivals. With new crises like terrorism and climate change affecting the region, many see reconciliation as the only path forward. But the unhealed wounds of partition continue to haunt relations between these two estranged neighbors. If you enjoyed this video on Pakistan, you'll love this next one.